Last time I had an iPhone was iPhone 3GS back in 2009 when I was in Now this third tip is actually a pro tip and if you do this then you will get a deal that is even better than what I got. So I think if you buy the exact same phone from India this exact phone will cost you around 1 lakh 30. What's up YouTube it's Savant here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be very special because today we are going to buy an iPhone in Canada and that too for $0. Yes, you heard it right. We are not going to spend any money today and we are going to bring home the latest iPhone. So in this video, I will tell you everything about buying an iPhone in Canada, how much does it cost and what all is included and is it actually cheaper to buy an iPhone from Canada as compared to India or not. And then later, I will also give you some tips on how you can save up to $200 when buying an iPhone from Canada. It doesn't matter when you are planning to come to Canada. If you follow these tips, then you will definitely get the best deal and you will save on a lot of money. So make sure to watch this video till the very end. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos. And with that being said, let's get ready and let's get going. Today's video is also special because I'm finally buying an iPhone after almost 13 years. So the last time I had an iPhone was iPhone 3GS back in 2009 when I was in grade 9 or 9 standard in India. And after that I've always used an Android phone so I've used all types of phones such as Samsung, OnePlus and for the last 4 years I've been using Google Pixel phones and uh, yeah google pixel phones are amazing by the way but today is the day first time in 13 years or first time in my life that i'll be buying an iphone with my own money so it's definitely a special feeling and i've been trying to buy this iphone for almost two three months now uh, and i wanted to buy it during the christmas sales or the boxing day sales but unfortunately i was not able to buy it at that time because i was in the process of changing my job uh, but now i've finally settled in my new job so i thought now is the right time to buy the iphone and some of you guys who follow me or watch my videos must be knowing that i work in the tech industry here in canada specifically here in the toronto area and i recently changed my jobs and if you guys want to know how i was able to get three job offers in canada and that too without even applying then let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to make a video with you and share my experience because i know that a lot of you guys who are planning to move to canada or who want to work in canada be it in the tech industry or any other industry for that matter and hopefully that video will be able to help you guys get a job and just know how the process works here in canada so if you want to watch that video, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to make one. The weather here in Oakville has been very unpredictable in the last in the last four or five days actually because just two days ago it was so warm and all this snow that you're seeing, all this snow had melted because it was nine degrees, it was warm and sunny. But now yesterday we had a snowstorm and this is basically the result. And by the way, if you guys want to watch some more entertaining videos and some informative videos also about studying and working in Canada, then I also post a lot of useful content on Instagram through reels and through stories. So make sure to definitely follow me on Instagram if you want to watch such entertaining and informative videos and I'm sure that you will not be disappointed. Also, if you have any questions about Canada, about working or studying in Canada, then you can also message me on Instagram. I reply to every single one of you guys. So if you have any questions or if you just want to chat with me, then you should definitely reach out as well. First of all, let's go to Freedom Mobile and the reason why I'm going to Freedom first is because my current cell phone provider is Freedom and the reason why they're cheaper is because they have a little poor connectivity or poor network coverage in certain areas but personally I've never experienced that so I think it should be fine and mostly I'm at home so I use the Wi-Fi so it should not be a big issue. Now Canada is Reliance Jio to Reliance Jio so we'll have to live with whatever we have here and the data is also pretty expensive but let's go and check out Freedom Mobile. So 
so I just got out of Freedom Mobile and the deal that they were offering was nothing special. I think I was getting a better deal back in December. But uh, now let's check out Best Buy and see what they can offer us. Let's go. Okay, so now let's go to Best Buy and see what they are offering us. Okay, so finally we are back home and after waiting for two months, I was finally able to get my iPhone 13 Pro and here is my shiny new iPhone 13 Pro, 256 gigs and yeah, I'm actually just loving it. Initially, I was actually confused whether I should buy the 13 Pro Max or the 13 Pro but eventually I realized that the 13 Pro Max is actually huge in size and I just wanted something sleek and handy that I could just carry around everywhere and take pictures and videos. So that's why I thought the Pro is actually a better choice and also pretty much all the features and even the cameras are exactly the same for the iPhone 13 Pro and also the Max. So that's why I just went ahead with the iPhone 13 Pro instead. Also a big difference that I noticed when I first held this phone in my hands was that this one feels a lot more premium as compared to my current phone which is the Google Pixel. Even though Google Pixel is an amazing phone, it has stock Android and also has a really great camera but still like as soon as I held this one in my hands it just started feeling a lot more premium and I guess that's how it should be because they're charging you so much for it as compared to a Google Pixel phone. Okay, so now let's talk about how much did I actually pay for this 256 gigs iPhone 13 Pro. So as you saw before, I first went to Freedom Mobile, which is my current phone carrier and I was offered this deal of $52 per month for this specific phone and in addition to that, I also had to pay $60 extra for Canada wide calling and free international text messages and 25 gigs of data every single month. So this contract was for two years, which means that for 24 months, I had to pay $52 for the phone and $60 for the phone plan. So in total, $112 per month. So next, I went to Best Buy to check what sort of deals they were going to offer me. And it's actually good that I went to Best Buy because Best Buy gave me an amazing deal. So they gave me exactly the same deal as Freedom. So $52 for this phone, unlimited Canada wide calling, unlimited international text, and also 25 gigs of data per month. However, the phone plan that they offered me was actually $5 cheaper. So Best Buy offered me the same Freedom Mobile plan for $55 instead of $60. So that was a saving of $5 every single month. Thus, Best Buy also gave me this really cool case for my iPhone. So this one is MagSafe integrated and also offers a multi-drop phone protection. And in addition to that, they also gave me a screen protector for free. So both these things I got for free and I also got the plan $5 cheaper. So in total, I got all these things from Best Buy at $107 per month. And this one is also a contract of two years. So for 24 months, I'll be paying $107 every single month. And after the two years or 24 months, this phone is mine to keep and I don't have to pay anything extra on top of that. But keep in mind that these prices are without taxes. And since I live in Toronto and the tax rate or the GST in Ontario is 13%, so in total, this specific iPhone cost me around $1,550 uh, and that is Canadian, which is equivalent to almost 90,000 rupees. So I think if you buy the exact same phone from India, so iPhone 13 Pro with 256 gigs of storage, this exact phone will cost you around 1,30,000 rupees. So yeah, iPhones are actually much cheaper in Canada as compared to India. But then the mobile data in Canada is actually very expensive. So overall, over the period of two years, it pretty much comes out to be the same amount. Now here are some tips for you if you also want to buy your iPhone once you come to Canada. So the first tip for you is to try and visit as many phone stores as possible and see which company or which store is offering you the best 
best deal. So in last two months, I have pretty much been to every single mobile company in Canada. And that's when I realized that Best Buy or Freedom Mobile can offer me the best deal possible. So because of all the research that I did before, in the end, I was actually able to save a lot of time because I knew exactly which store to go to and which company will offer me the best plan. Tip number two is that once you go to a store, try and ask them if there are any special deals going on. So sometimes what happens is that salespeople have some special deals or special discounts or maybe gift cards that they can offer you only if you ask for them. So for example, I got an additional $5 off every single month for this phone and I also got the phone case and the screen protector for free and all that because I asked them if there was anything special that they can do. So always make sure to ask for special deals and you might just get lucky. Now this third tip is actually a pro tip and if you do this, then you will get a deal that is even better than what I got. So if you want to buy an iPhone, but you don't require too much data because you're mostly on Wi-Fi or something, then what you can do is you can get a cheaper phone plan from pretty much any phone company. And that's usually called bring your own phone or bring your own device plan. And then you can buy your iPhone directly from Apple because recently Apple has also started offering phones on installment. So you can buy the latest iPhone in installments and pay it over the next 24 months. And for that, you will not even have to pay any interest. So let's say if you go to Freedom Mobile or Chatter Mobile and get a phone plan for let's say $30 per month and you get this phone from Apple directly in installments and you pay $65 per month for the phone. So in total, you'll be paying less than $100 every single month, which is a saving of around $7 as compared to my plan. And over the period of 24 months, you'll be saving over $200 if you do it this way. So these were all my tips for you and I hope these will help you save some money and it doesn't matter when you are coming to Canada, you should definitely try these out. And with that, let's end this video here. If you have any questions, then feel free to comment below and you can also follow me on Instagram at shivansingla119 and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos about Canada, about my life in Canada and also about studying and working in Canada. And and I will see you guys in the next video.